Welcome. My name's Associate Professor Anne Rogerson, and this session is about reflective writing. It complements the information in your communications toolkit. The purpose of reflection is to get you to think about your learning experiences or situations so that you can develop insight and understanding. It looks at things like the context, when and what happened, your feelings, your actions and reactions, and any questions, reactions, assumptions and outcomes. A reflective writing task is designed to record these thoughts and help you gain insights so you work through and learn more. There are some issues with reflective writing. Some people struggle to actually make it more personal and it becomes very descriptive. This poor example just lists things that happen, but there are no insights or reflections. To break down this example, First of all, the problems aren't clear. You say there are problems, but they're not explained. You talk about speaking with the employee, but it doesn't say what you said or how you said it. It doesn't explain how you selected coaching and what aspect of coaching was used to improve the performance. The outcomes say they were successful, but it's not clear how this was achieved and what would be learned from the experience. By comparison, this example demonstrates a lot more detail. To make it easier to see some of the points, some of the words have been highlighted in colour. The blue words indicate emotion, an emotional reaction to certain things. The green indicates actions, what actually took place and the brown highlights outcomes. 